Hello everyone, Hello. we are at the Japanese Tunnel here in Davao and later we are in Japan. Let's go! Hey. Hey. Starting from 1903 to the World War, there was a surge of Japanese migrants hired by Americans and Filipinos for their abaca plantations in Davao. This helped the economy by teaching Filipinos agricultural technology. Eventually, these laborers became successful and were able to own businesses such as stores, restaurants, agriculture, and fishing. Because of this, Davao received the moniker of Little Tokyo as the Japanese migration was peaking in the 1930s. The Japanese occupation occurred between 1942 and 1945, and the Battle of Davao happened on 19th of December 1941 and ended on 25th of December 1941. There are also old firearms including rifles, machine guns, and ammo inside the tunnel. There are more dungeons, water bunkers, and makeshift offices farther down the tube. Tiny chapels can also be found, one containing replicas of gold bars and the famous Golden Buddha. The 300 meter long tunnel was discovered by the landowners while excavating the area in preparation for a hotel's construction. Passageways, rooms, armaments, and other artifacts were discovered inside the tunnel. It was later confirmed that the tunnel was dug out by war prisoners by the order of the Japanese Imperial Army during the Second World War. Filipinos, along with other allied prisoners of war, were subjected to forced labor, torture, and execution by the Japanese military. Many Filipinos were also detained in small, cramped cells as a form of punishment or interrogation. These tiny prison cells became symbols of the suffering and resilience of the Filipino people during World War II. After World War II, treasure hunters went to Davao in search of the legendary Yamashita treasure, specifically in Mintal, Tubok district because there were supposedly numerous underground crisscrossing tunnels built by soldiers and prisoners of war. The main objectives of the Japanese were to the encircle U.S. and Filipino forces on the zone islands and prevent reinforcement from coming from the south. Their secondary goal was to establish a base from which Lt. Gen. Hitoshi Imamura, 16th Army, could invade the Netherlands, East Indies, and the British North Borneo. Hey guys! At dito na nagtatapos ang aming vlog. Thank you for watching. I hope nag enjoy kayo sa vlog na ito. So, peace! I love you all! God bless and stay happy!